FDNY members, union officials, and current FDNY members that have joined us here today, especially the members from Division 3, Battalion 7, Squad 18, and Ladder 7, companies who responded to this location 52 years ago today. Also, we welcome two groups that have been tremendous supporters of the FDNY, the New York State Honorary Fire Chiefs Association and the Firebell Club. Thank you for your support. I will now invite Firefighter John Burke to the podium for the singing of our national anthem. John. I will now invite FDNY Chaplain Monsignor Mark Falaccione to the podium to deliver the invocation. Lord God, thank you for the gift of memory which you bestow on each of us. And thank you for not letting us forget this commemoration of the 52nd anniversary of the supreme sacrifice made by our 12 brothers this day in the year 1966. May the plaque which day in and day out graces the corner of this city remind all who look, remind all who look upon it that all the firefighters who served that day were extraordinary individuals. Their dedication to the fire department of the city of New York, their heroism face of danger, their unselfish giving of themselves to others is well known to this part of the city as though as to those who work in the department day in and day out. May this commemorative plaque which adorns this place continue to grace and inspire us to imitate these firefighters in the many ways they have exemplified the words duty and dedication. Thank you, Monsignor. Now it gives me great pleasure to introduce our first speaker, the Fire Commissioner of the City of New York, Dan Nigro. Thank you very much. A week ago this morning, nearly 10,000 FDNY members stood shoulder to shoulder at the Fireman's Monument to pay their respects to families of 14 members who died last year. They do so to honor those who gave their life in service to others. They do it because unwavering support of each other and our families is one of our greatest traditions. And they do it because it is the most tangible way to show that we do not forget. We gather and show the families that we will always be right by their side because their loved ones earned that their sacrifice. That is why we gather here today to mark the 52nd anniversary 
of a fire that shook our department to its core. I remember standing in the park as a young man all those years ago and watching the way in which our FDNY firefighters carefully and methodically searched for hours for the 12 members killed that day. They were heartbroken but determined. They promised to never forget the firefighters killed that day. All of us here renew that solemn promise each year. As always, we are honored to be joined by several members of the 12 firefighters' families, and I thank you all for joining us again this year. This day will never be easy, and I promise you that long after all of us are gone, it will still be remembered, and your loved ones and their remarkable bravery will never be forgotten. The men and women of the companies in which they served and many others are here, as always, standing shoulder to shoulder in solidarity. The memories of those we lost here 52 years ago will always live on because we will not let them fade. May God bless the firefighters and officers we remember today and those they left behind. May God continue to bless the New York City Fire Department. Thank you, Commissioner. Our next speaker is the Chief of Department, James Leonard. Good morning to all and welcome, especially to our honored, our honored families. Uh, 52 years seems like a long time ago, but it's not in this department. And we make that, that pledge that we remember. Same to all our firefighters today uh, with uh, what is going on. With 52 years ago today, uh, then Chief of Department, John T. O'Hagan, gathered firefighters who were working at this scene today, and they said a prayer, much like it's been, been, it has always been said. And during that prayer, we said a prayer, we mourned our, we mourned our losses, and then we went back to work. We did, went back to work is because those firefighters who lay deceased in this building had taken a solemn pr pledge that they would protect life and property, even at the cost of their own lives. And we did that. You have to remember 52 years ago, uh, it was 1966, we had just celebrated our centennial. And in a department that has a long, proud history of what was going on, this was a horrific event. And this is why we stand on the shoulders of, of, the, of, of the giants that went before us. People have always asked, always asked me, what, is, what hasn't changed in this department? And I said, what hasn't changed is the heart and soul of a New York City firefighter. That same heart and soul that those members that we lost here 52 years ago is carried on in the firefighters that I see here today. And that's what we were about. They carried on that tradition for the hundred years before they, 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 they died, and they knew what their job was, and that's what hasn't changed. So that's why we come back here and we remember what's going on. This plaque says gone, but not forgotten. And we make that solemn pledge to all our family members. We make that pledge to each other, that no matter, no matter when it happened, because it will happen in the future, God forbid, that we will never, for, never forget. And there will come a time when nobody here worked here or was alive here or even knew about the 23rd, was around with the 23rd Street Fire. But the one thing that we'll, we'll live on is that we will know about the 23rd Street Fire. From deputy chief down to probationary firefighter, we lost that day. And I'm very proud to stand here to say that we do it right by honoring those members. We do it right by never forgetting any of our lost members. Today, the worst tragedy to hit the New York City Fire Department in 100 years 23rd Street Fire. Still the second worst tragedy to ever hit. And we're out here to remember that. And we stand here proud because we got knocked down that day, but we stood back up. Just like that Chief, Chief of Department O'Hagan said, we need to go back in and we need to recover our members and we need to get back up and answer the next call. This area of the city is the oldest area of the city. It goes back to the original founded members of this department, 1865, with the companies you see here. It's our duty to make sure that we always remember that and we never forget. So to the families of our 23rd Street, uh, our members that were lost, thank you. 
of the sacrifice that will never ever be forgotten. We will be out here. Everybody knows the story of 23rd Street. It is taught in our Proby School uh, with what is going on. So the memory of your loved ones live on. And that makes us proud and it should make you proud. Because when you see these firefighters standing here, they are what they are because of the loss that you, uh, that you, that you uh, experienced. And we thank you for that, the sacrifice that you gave. So God bless the, the FDNY and God bless all the members of the FDNY that we lost on 23rd Street. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. We'll now lay a commemorative wreath in honor of our 12 fallen brothers. We'll commission in Nigro, Chief Leonard, Brian Finley of Ladder Company 164, and Christine Priori step forward to lay the wreath. Please bow your heads for a moment of silence. Thank you. I will now invite FDNY Chaplain, Monsignor Mark Falaccione, to deliver the necrology. Killed in the line of duty October 17, 1966, while responding at the 23rd Street Fire. Deputy Chief Thomas A. Riley, Division 3. Battalion Chief Walter J. Higgins, Battalion 7. <phone rings> Lieutenant John J. Finley, Ladder 7. <phone rings> Lieutenant Joseph Priori, Engine 18. <phone rings> Firefighter John G. Berry, Ladder 7. Firefighter James V. Gavinor, Engine 18. Firefighter Rudolph K. F. Kaminsky, Ladder 7. Firefighter Joseph Kelly, Engine 18. Firefighter Carl Lee, Ladder 7. Firefighter William F. McCarran, Division 3. Firefighter Daniel L. Ray, Engine 18. Firefighter Bernard A. Tepper, Engine 18. Gone, but not forgotten.
Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Fire Department of the City of New York, and in particular, the members of Division 3, Battalion 7, Squad 18, and Ladder 7, thank you all for joining us and remembering those that we lost. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you very much.